I'm Robin Austin. Um, I'm here in Florida, uh, in Ocean Ridge today. Um, but I'm originally from Yorkshire, England. In fact, just outside Leeds. Well, I think um, I've always been on the creative side. And um, my career, prior to being an artist, if there is really, prior to being, uh, b before being an artist, um, but I was in advertising and marketing um, with some of the biggest firms actually in the world. Um, I was um, with Young and Rubicam uh, in Sweden and uh, ultimately got transferred to New York uh, with them where I did pretty, pretty well. Um, I was incredibly fortunate because uh, Martin Sorrell, who um, owns the, at the time owned the WPP group, um, came along and uh, um, bought our company and that gave me all sorts of options. And one of the options that I really wanted to do was to become an artist and I was fascinated um, with mosaics from a very, very early age. Um, and I thought that they were really being done terribly. If, if you can see from the world behind me, if some a brand was doing that, let's say Coca-Cola, they would, nobody else could do it. You know, Coke owns the mosaic, you know, or Nike owns the mosaic. And I said, but it's such an interesting um, art form. And I had seen one that was done by Heineken, um, and they had a field of flowers and the little images were more flowers and I'm going you're missing the entire point there's a mixed media here there's the larger image and then isn't there the potential to tell a story with the smaller images and that kind of came rolling around in my mind that what if there was a way to celebrate an icon from the past and you have 2,000 photographs telling the story of their lives or their, their careers. And I said, there must be lots of people doing that. And I started digging around on the internet because you've got access to everything there. And to my amazement, um, there wasn't. Nobody was doing what I call a visual celebration of the icon and tell the story of their lives in their little, in the smaller images. The process is once I decide on an icon, and I'm going to be completely frank, it's, it's just random. I go, Freddie Mercury, wow, that would be someone great. Queen is topical, our generation. My marketing background says, I'm not going to create a piece of art of somebody that nobody knows. Ooh. The, pr the first thing I, I probably shouldn't be telling everybody this, but the very first thing I do is, is I go to Wikipedia and I look at and I get the very broadest um, strokes of their life. I pray that somebody has done an autobiography um, on them because what I do, I literally map out the chapters of their life. Um, so it's Frank Sinatra, it was from New Jersey to Vegas to Cuba to Miami to Palm Springs to Vegas to LA, you know, boom, 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 boom. I then collect photos for each of the chapter. And what I originally did was I did them in order. Um, so chapter one, chapter two, chapter, and it didn't work. Um, people liked so much more the random pictures um, because their eye goes and there's, there, there, there is something that happens with the brain. So I'll do Sinatra or I can talk Mick Jagger. Um, you know, you will see Marianne Faithful with Keith Richards together with the free concert in Hyde Park. And your brain, oh, I remember that, I've been there. So it's a, it's a more stimulating um, interpretation than being very formulaic. Um, so I put them together, and obviously the blending, the layering in order to get the coloring, um, is inc that's, the, that's the difficult part, and it's also the, the thing that pays off, or the fact of the art that pays off so much more. So if you look at David Bowie, and so I'm almost, when I'm so close, I can't see 
David Bowie, I can only see the smaller images. When you're farther out, obviously, you see the bigger image, but not the smaller images. So it's that, it's pixelization. It's the classic pixelization. Having contrast is terribly important to me. So if it's a white canvas, just for the sake of argument, I can't get any contrast. So I make the canvas and the original um, uh, piece of work, I put much far more dimension into it so that the mosaic works so much more effectively. And that, that's one of the secrets. One of my son's birthdays, uh, and he was um, having um, a 15th, 16th birthday, and um, he, um, the whole gang would come up, up to our house in Connecticut and watch Breaking Bad. And uh, I thought, this is it. I'm going to put one together for James, for Jamie. Uh, with all his pals, um, with breaking characters from Breaking Bad. I put in a few Bond girls. I put in a few hip hop people that he liked, music that he liked. And, and I made it big. And people were like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. And that got me into, so that was one of the things that really made me feel very powerful or strong about doing the concept. And what then happened was I've, I, I created the Beatles and Mick Jagger and several others that was um, considered to be a really good body of work. I think I had 20 pieces and I had a show and people said, this is this, it's not all there. But there's enough there that for your first album, to use that metaphor, um, it, it's a very, very good start. I, uh, one of the things that I was hugely aware of from my marketing background was how important visual communication is, was. And if, if an ad is created the right way, it, it, it can be night and day from something that is created the wrong way. And so I saw this really, I, you heard me say innovation before. Uh, I wanted to do something new. Um, the technology has allowed me to do a lot of this because I, searching for the photographs, for example, prior to the internet would have been an extreme. I still go to public libraries and research and, uh, uh, and look for reference um, and I go through magazines, but by far and away, um, just clicking on the internet uh, to do research has speeds that all up. Um, and so, yes, that's, that. I think, I think if we were going back 25 years, this would be a much harder process um, and so I, I, was, I was the right artist at the right time for the right technology. What makes this extremely fun is, is being in this industry is, and I'm, I'm, I'm not playing up, but the galleries that really get it, the people that really get it, um, it's incredibly rewarding to work so hard uh, and then see someone willing um, to, to buy your work. It's, there's, there's, a, there's a very, very warm feeling inside when, when that happens. Or a gallery calls you and say, hey, guess what, Robin? We've just sold one and it's the best price we've ever gotten. Um, really, it's exciting. It's a win for everybody. And um, I, I, I enjoy that. Any art form um, is a legacy piece. And I love the idea that these pieces, and I've been told, will be around for a very, very long time. Um, the idea that there's a supply, I'm gonna not have ideas. There are icons being developed every day. And so um, I've got a plethora <laughs> of uh, opportunity to celebrate them with my art.